And on a track like Baku, I think when you're sliding through the corners, you start overheating the tyres, and that makes it really hard to get close on the exit of the corners. Did we have any upgrades in Baku? Well, we've been trying to bring steps to each of the races where we can. So this weekend, we brought a new rear wing end plate. We brought some changes to the brake cooling, so trying to increase the level of cooling we've got available because Baku is a circuit that requires that. We also brought changes to the suspension leg fairings and some small changes to the deflectors on the cake tins. So all just sort of the normal development you've got for this time of the season. Did this weekend's new race format affect our ability to set up the car properly? And what do we think to the new format overall? Well, firstly, in terms of our setup, I think it's pretty challenging. You've only got one one hour session of FP1 to get the car right. And that's on a circuit that's been resurfaced. So how the tyres are going to work and interact with that surface is different to what we might have expected. So we turned up having a setup we were going to try with Lewis and a setup we were going to try with George. And in actual fact, what happened to us is we had an issue with Lewis's car getting it out the garage on time um, because of a parameter in the car. And as a consequence of that, it made it very difficult to compare those two setups. And I think in hindsight, we're still not convinced of whether we made the right choice or didn't make the right choice. But it's the same for everybody. Everybody's got that same format to deal with. Everybody's got that same challenge of one hour to deal with. And in terms of the format overall, I guess the answer to that question is, is it exciting? Is that something people want to see? And we're really interested to hear your views, if you can leave them in the comments below, as to what you think about the format and whether it's good for the show, whether you as the fans really enjoyed it or not. If we'd have pitted Lewis under the safety car, could we have been on the podium? Well, as you'll have seen watching the race, we got a bit unlucky. It's really difficult to predict when there's going to be a safety car or impossible in most circumstances. So in our case, we pitted Lewis, the safety car came out afterwards, and as a consequence of that, Lewis lost out. He lost out because it's obviously a lot cheaper to take a pit stop when the safety car's out. You lose less time in the pit lane relatively. So if we'd have pitted under the safety car, where would we have been? Well, we would have come out in place, so we'd have come out behind the two Red Bulls and behind the two Ferraris, and we would have been racing from there. Maybe we could have taken, overtaken signs. That's what we saw Alonso did from that same position. But I think getting on the podium would have been tough. I think we saw from this race it's very difficult to overtake without a big pace differential. So I think the podium would have been tough, but we would have finished in a better place. Do we think Lewis and George could have found more pace if they weren't stuck behind Sainz and Stroll? Well, I think that question is quite difficult to answer. Um, I think when you're tucked up behind another car, you get some advantage from being in the DRS, that helps you down the straights, and you get some disadvantage of the fact that you're losing downforce and therefore you're slower in the corners. And on a track like Baku, I think when you're sliding through the corners, you start overheating the tyres, and that makes it really hard to get close on the exit of the corners. And you need to be close on the exit of the corners to be able to really sort of get the benefit down the strakes. The benefit of being very close behind allows you to drop the drag of the car. And at Baku, there wasn't quite enough DRS for us to be able to get by. But in some ways, that's what you want. We don't want it to be really easy to overtake. What we want it to be is if you've got a pace advantage that you can get by. I think both our drivers were really pushing really hard. Uh, trying to get the maximum they could out of the tyre. I think both drivers had a number of goes about trying to get by, but no matter how hard they tried, they just didn't quite have enough pace to do it. What does Lewis mean by, could you give me more power? Well, firstly, one thing to understand is the regulations are such that as soon as we roll out for qualifying, we have to keep the engine modes the same. So the power available from the internal combustion engine doesn't change, that's just what we've got. What we can do is alter the way we deploy our electrical energy around the lap. And so on a normal lap, the sort of deployment of the MGUK, so that's the bit that provides electrical power to the wheels, is sort of scheduled to make the optimum use of that around the lap. But we're able to change that. The drivers are able to change that into different settings or into various uh, buttons that they can press to sort of more optimally deploy that in the best way they can to defend or to attack. And so what Lewis was asking for is, had we got any more advice we could give him in how he could better deploy that energy and maximise his chances of overtaking. Do we think Miami will suit our car and can we challenge Ferrari and Aston Martin? Well, I think that's always a really difficult question to answer because when you look at our cars, they're actually fairly close in terms of performance. In Melbourne, we look probably a little bit quicker than Aston Martin and Ferrari. In Baku, we looked a little bit slower. In terms of the sort of circuit layout, I'd say Miami's a bit more like Melbourne. You might think, okay, well, that's, that's good for us, and, and it is good for us. But like Baku, Miami's also been resurfaced. 
So until we get there, until we run on the track, it's going to be hard to know exactly what we're going to find. It's going to be hard to know how we're going to optimise the setup and what level of performance we're going to have relative to our competition. So in some ways, we'll just have to wait and see.